very important that people try to disprove me on this. I know that sounds crazy, but anybody that's a thinker will understand why I'm saying that. I want people not to be, you know, dickheads to me. If if you find a flaw in it or some sort of variance in what I'm doing, just send, send me an email and say, hey, you know what? I, I got this picture and, and it doesn't quite look like that. It looks like this word or that word. And let me take a look at it. That sounds like, you know, the way humans should be rather than ripping on each other. Now, no one sent me that type of criticism yet, but I, you know, and I'm not sure that I'm wrong, so I may not get it. But again, you can't learn unless you see it for yourself. So don't just look at the video and say, oh, the subliminals are there. Hey, look at this video. No, no, no. Find the pictures and make sure you can see these things for yourself. That is so important. You have no idea how important that is. It's just like the difference between real life experience and studying for real life. You know what I mean? You should know what I mean. Do not take, even though it's blatant and right in front of your face, do not take what I'm saying as fact until you see it for yourself. Otherwise, I have taught you nothing. I, I need to... I don't want people following me. Okay, it's not about me. What I want to do is create brains that can see. Part of that is questioning what I'm doing. And, and some of you may think, well, that sounds contradictory, but it's not. I promise you, it's not. You've got to question. You, even me, you've got to start questioning. And when you start to see them, then you can teach others. Do you see? And it's very, very important that you learn it. You learn the ability to start to be able to assess what's been hidden from you with your own eyes. Because I don't know how long I'm going to be around people. And I can't sit around and trace these all day. I mean, my eyes are getting so tired. And doing it on a computer is not the same as looking in a magazine. The flicker rate and the shit that's in the... I don't even like to be on the computer. And it gives me a headache and my eyes get strained. And it's just... I can't do it. And there's just way too many. But I can tell you this. I mean, I've seen this type of thing. I started looking up old paintings from like the 1900s. And these type of subliminal messages are in, like, Claude Monet paintings. I mean, they had an unfair advantage. Oh, I just love Claude Monet's painting. Well, yeah, because sex is written all throughout it. And you're drawn to it, and you don't know why. So it's, it's really important that you understand this is something that's been going on for a long time. And I don't know the full extent of it. But I know that the picture level is bare minimum. And you should start to learn that because it's all over the TV. And in that case, you should listen to my other upload where I bitch a lot in the beginning. But really, yeah, I do explain it a little bit more about the conscious, subconscious mind and what's going on. Um, what else can I tell you here? So you're going to see a little bit of, of the pictures, okay? And then you're going to see a lot about Bono and what you two are doing. And I think that, um, see, nobody's come out and said anything about Bono. All right. What it looks like to me is either they decided to do it then and pulled it for some reason, or they're trying to shape opinion. And when you see what's on his face, and I won't even tell you, I'll let it be a surprise, you got to remember, subliminal messages are no different in a lot of cases than general advertising in that one exposure is not usually going to do much. I mean, the general rule is a frequency rule of three times before anything starts to really take shape. And the more times you get hit with the same message over and over, subliminal or not, the more solid it becomes in your belief system. So it isn't that you just look at a magazine and say, oh, okay. But if you see the same command throughout various magazines, like don't read uh, legislation that takes away your rights, do this, do that, obey this person, don't question authority, all these things and you see it your whole life, then yes, it does start to shape your belief system and you have no idea. It's completely benign as far as you're concerned and you have no idea that it had occurred, okay? I'm going to put a clip of a movie called They Live. Uh, it's kind of funny, you know, it's a generic movie. It's a B-rated movie where, you know, it's about an alien, you know, uh, aliens living amongst us, but you can't see them. That's not what I'm telling you right now. I'm just telling you about the subliminals. But in this scene, he puts on glasses, uh, symbolic for waking up. 
um, that allow him to see uh, the commands that are programming everybody, and it's quite profound. It's funny because, A, I mean, it, they do it much more simple in the movie. They make it look so blatantly obvious, but these are more hidden, and they are right there, and they are subliminal, and the commands are even worse than they show in this movie. Um, but I think I've already seen some, some real subliminals in that movie. Uh, so I'm going to have to check that out. I wonder if there are subliminals saying this stuff really isn't real in real life or something. Um, but watch this movie because it's very symbolic of what you are about to go through when I show you. So um, this is just a little bit of a, a clip here. It's a little clip from They Live. Take a look and uh, just try to keep a level head because a lot of this is really going to, well, hopefully wake you up, especially this stuff about you too the woman interviewing them is just leading them on and you'll see what she's trying to discover it will all tie in for you okay I hope that you've listened this long and uh, take a look at these subliminal messages Thank you. 